because you guys rock. Your smartphone rocks. Your shower rocks. Your lunchbox rocks. And your face rocks. Throughout the ages of human beingness, we have taken rocks, made them into cool stuff, and then sold them to buy more stuff made of rocks. We're dependent on them from the inside out. Confused? Don't be. For today, I'm going to show you how from the moment you wake up in the morning until the moment you hit the pillow at night, your life is one big rock festival. Let's get started. Bam! Wake up, your alarm goes, it's buzzing, it's driving you crazy. You hit the snooze button, but it just keeps going. Blame the tungsten. It comprises a teeny tiny weight, about the size of the tip of a pencil, that causes that infuriating alarm. Tungsten is so dense that even the shifting of a tiny little bit in your phone is enough to make it vibrate. Another cool thing about tungsten is its high melting point. So when you jump in the shower in the morning, which I really hope you do for everyone's sake, the heat lamp that's keeping things all nice and toasty in there is also courtesy of tungsten. The filaments in the heat lamp bulbs can heat up to such an extent, 800 watts, or the equivalent of you turning on your hairdryer full blast. Who knew all that awesome could come from something called wolframite? And you're into breakfast, breakfast of champions. Cereal, milk, bananas. Why? Because it's a great source of magnesium, good for brain development and muscle development. But you know what else it's great for? The interior components of your smartphone, specifically the mid-frame housing. It's combined with aluminium to create a durable and flexible housing for all the stuff that gets shoved in your um, smartphone. Think about that next time you're chomping on a wheat bick. Oh, and while you're at it, think about all the stainless steel that's curling around your teeth if you have braces. That same metal is used for the outer of smartphones, a combination of iron, carbon, and chromium. So you spent all morning busting a gut at school, focusing really hard, and you need morning tea. Specifically, my favourite is salt and vinegar rice crackers, despite the fact that I know that I am quite literally eating sand. Silicon dioxide, when in crystal or rock form, is quartz. Quartz, when broken down, becomes a fine white sand. A food-grade version of that is available in things like salt and vinegar rice crackers as an anti-caking agent E551. It's also in other things, like taco mix, to create it all nice and fresh and crumbly. But bonus, because it's non-reactive, it's also used as the silica chip in your smartphone. Silicon dioxide is reacted, oxidized, with carbon to create carbon dioxide and silica. But crucially, you need something to put all your food in, right? A plastic bag or a lunchbox. Thank goodness we've come up with stinking great big oil reserves all around the world so we can create plastic everythings until our heart's content, including lunchboxes. Crude oil is turned into polymers, which in turn is heated and turned into plastic, or things like lunchboxes. Oh, but you forgot your lunch at home, you say. Never fear, geology to the rescue. When you go to the canteen to buy something, you are literally handing over a combination of copper, nickel and aluminium. Copper, importantly, is the key metal in an ore called chalcopyrite and the reason your smartphone works. There is 16 grams of copper in every smartphone to house all the electrical circuitry. If you think about it, that's approximately the weight of a 50 cent piece. Okay, you're still going through school, but you've got extracurricular activities to do, so you need more fuel. Don't get me started on the geology of skateboarding, dancing or football, that's really interesting. I'm going to talk to you about what is actually happening or housing around your afternoon tea, aka aluminium foil. Aluminium comes from an ore called bauxite, and it's not just used to make things like aluminium foil, it also makes the exterior of your smartphone too. And also, it's a key ingredient in things like deodorant, necessary if you play sport. The alum in deodorant reacts with electrolytes in your sweat to create a gel plug which stops you from sweating. It's actually really kind of gross. 
Okay, school's done, you're at home, it's evening. You wouldn't think that the same process that has your dinner plates and mugs created is also present in your smartphone. Ceramic. Ceramic is an inorganic or non-metallic solid and can be created in any number of ways. Ceramic capacitors in your iPhone are responsible for dissipation and storage of electric and magnetic current around your iPhone. They're made of something called barium titanate and are formed by a process called sintering. Sintering is actually a, a natural geologic process as well, formed near mineral springs to create mineral formations. But your dinner plates are also a ceramic, right? Well, in this case, they're formed from something called kaolinite, as you can see here, uh, the kaolinite deposit in Western Australia. Kaolinite is a sedimentary rock that's formed from weathering down of minerals like feldspars, which in turn were created from crystallisation of magma. So really, when you're eating off a dinner plate, you're eating off what was essentially a magma source in the very distant past. Ah, oh, but you're stuffed, you're so tired, it's the end of the day, you've done so much stuff. So what do you do instead of doing homework? You procrastinate and listen to your favourite music instead. If it was me, I'd be listening to Pentatonix or Sam Smith. But what I'm really more interested in is the earbuds or speakers themselves. Neodymium is a rare earth element that is found in ores like um, monazite and bastonite. But it's important because it can create the strongest permanent magnets known, or really strong magnets in really teeny tiny spaces like your earphones. But, you know, eventually it gets too late, you're too tired, you need to go to bed, so you turn off all your music, but don't forget to clean your teeth. It's the last rock of the day. Calcium carbonate is a key ingredient in chalk and limestone deposits, and it's also a natural abrasive in your toothpaste. That's geology in your face. <laughs> it's used to brush off all those uh, build-ups from things like coffee, Coca-Cola, or hard candy like Chupa Chups, if that's your thing. It's not in smartphones, but then again, not everything is. But I'll call it, your entire day is made up of rocks and minerals that took millions of years to form and are present in smartphones. What we've done is we've taken a bunch, a bunch of different minerals and ores and smashed them all together to create what is essentially a superhero of a phone. And this is a rock that you can watch cat videos of them dressed up as Star Wars characters. It's amazing. Look, I think we've done really well as a species. We've created ourselves to be rock stars from the inside out. Thank you.